Episode 2 of the Orville Season 3. Starts out kind of slow. Seems like it's going to be one of those meh episodes. And then turns into a horror flick. Turns into The Fly. The best thing I can describe it as. A admiral named Paul shows up on the ship. He's going to do negotiations for the Union to go to explore beyond Krill space safely so they don't, they don't get attacked by the Krill. The Krill tell them that if they go into a certain area... An area of space they call the Shadow Realm. No, not, not that one. Then the Glag Sector... That there are demons there that will take over your soul and corrupt you. They think that, oh, it's just they're being religious zealots. They probably don't know anything. But the Admiral, who was on Legends of Tomorrow, tells him tells him that, uh, you know, they see everything through the eyes of their religion. So we should, we should bear their warnings a little. And they go. They explore. They end up finding a big... They end up going into the uh, system... They see a nice pink cloud thing, a bunch of stars. And then they pick up a distress signal. They go check it out. It's a big red ship. A big empty red ship. An away team goes to the ship. And the only quote-unquote red shirt disposable character is Admiral Paul. Guess what's going to happen? Yep, Admiral Paul. They, they said, don't touch anything, just look around. What happens... No, Admiral Paul doesn't touch something, but something touches him. It spits at him in his face. They get back to the ship, and oh, he's turning into something. Turns out that there is a alien species thing on the ship that can turn other species into it. It manipulates your bodies, organisms, and everything, and blood cells, and changes them. And from that point onward... The Admiral turns the power off because he still has his Admiral's mind or pieces of it. From that point onwards, it is a pure horror film. A couple red shirts get killed, some nur a nurse gets killed, well, turned in, turn into an alien. And the kids are chased, dark hallway scenes, jump scares. John's chased through uh, tubes by one because he's there to fix the power, try to turn power back on. And uh, the doctor, after Tala knocks one of them out to bring the, the, the sick bay, doctor discovers that uh, there's no real way to change them back because they've been changed so drastically. But she does discover a way that could kill them. It would be like a common cold to us. She says, you get the sniffles. Bordas says he's ready for the sniffles. And it killed them, though. But she decides that she wants to parlay with them. She goes to the area where Paul is, being able to track him by the wedding ring that he was wearing, and tells Paul that they can take their people and go because the ship's coming for them, or she can kill them all. The old Paul speaks out, not Paul Moore. You will see, doctor says, see what? You will be us. And she says, okay, at captain release the toxin. And he says, no, he's... He screams, Wah! and then says, we will go, not forever, and then Spider-Man's up and out of the ship, and they go out of the ship, either some, they don't show how to leave the ship, either by a vessel, like a uh, away mission vessel, or maybe floating in space, I don't know, though they need the air to breathe on the uh, main thing, and that's the episode. I thought it was a f f okay episode. Was not like really great. Something you want to watch over and over again. But you know, it's an okay episode. Something that you'd save for like Halloween time, so you can have some spookiness of it. Uh, the beginning is definitely it's really slow in my opinion. The build up part, it seems like it's going to be, you know, uh, let the doctor try to decide if she's going to need a man but not really need a man type thing because it's her ex-husband who she used to love and then he wanted his he wanted something else like the way she described it was he wanted a something young to come home to and she wanted a partner so i'm guessing he didn't want kids or something because they didn't really dive that much into it 
And it's going to be like, oh, a first contact thing. Oh, what's a first contact episode? All right, there's a first contact for a parasite organization. Or organization, a parasite organism that will, I'm guessing, is going to be a, a villain's going to come back. Well, that's it. These things aren't getting that many views, so I don't really got to rush it. This is going to air on a Monday. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.